this is going to be basically those alcoholic beverage reviews I talked about. It will be done in a pub in the future. At the moment I'm doing it at home because I can't really find anybody who's willing to dry them. You know, they might think of spite the drink. Unlikely because, to tell the truth, I don't want to have sex with a corpse. Uh, a bit suspect there. I'll start off with two simple ones that I've got at home. One's one called Tribute, the Ale of Cornwall. It's a delightfully delicious and drinkable beer that captures the essential character of Cornwall. 4.2%. I've not had any of these before. Well, I've had a sip of that, but you know. Let's open it up. I'm going to find the thing. There it is. Old can opener. It's the only bloody one that works. Ah. The smell smells of old breweries. Tastes a bit small. More. It's not the best tasting drink I've ever had. It's all right. Uh, it's yeah. It's an all right drink, really. It's not, like I say, not the best tasting drink ever. It's alright. <laughs> Which on the scale of badness is average. Uh, next to Shut Tie Gob. Something you can't really order in a pub without getting slapped. From the Barnsley Beer Company. We've got wind from that one now. A cheeky strong brown ale. It says on the front. 5.1%. Uh, you know, let's open it up. Yeah. This will be better down the pub, trust me. There is no smell to it. Which I like that one. That one, there is a smell to it. The smell of old pubs and stuff. Which, if you don't know what a pub is, think of a bar. Only British. And decent. This one, it's... It's a very bland taste. It don't really taste of anything. Which is strange, because that one does taste. But it's a bit... Blah. To me, it's... Blah. This one, it's just kind of... Nothing. There is nothing. I mean, look. <laughs> Kids, don't try that at home. The parrots come to join me. Uh, you can't have it. Sod off! Not good for parrots. <laughs> I'd do this in another take, but we got two bottles of this. And the parrot one's one of them. Come here, you little sod. Uh -huh. You No. <laughs> I'm not going to get the parrot pissed. That would be a good for entertainment, but I'm not going to get pissed. Right. Basically. I forgot what we are doing now, you little sod. Right. This is why I was going to do it in the pub, because she'd get in the fucking way. Right. Tangy. Tangy. If I saw it, I probably wouldn't order it. It's not bad, but it's not to my tastes. Bland. Not, not that nice. Uh, the best one out of the two, I reckon, is probably Shut Tie Gob. That one would probably give, say, two out of five. 
All right, and you get a fair bit, you know. Eh, uh, actually, they're both the same. A slightly different bottle. That one I'd probably give. I'd probably give two. Uh, overall, you know, you can get them pretty cheap. I mean, that one you can get from B&M. That one you can get from Elizabeth. With this massive aisle of ales and stuff. Which is quite nice. <coughs> nice if you've got the money to try them all. <laughs> She's back. That's basically my first beer, al ale, alcoholic beverage. Decent name pending. I should put a banner down there. Not where her head is. Come here. Get on my knee. Right. Yeah, thanks for watching. Like I say, if you're in the Manchester area and you're up for a bit of ale tasting, we, we, we will be doing it in the pub called the Lasso Galway. Because I've basically got the owner's permission. He says, yeah, good idea, and all that stuff. So if you're out in the Manchester area and you're up for trying this stuff, you know, trying different ales and stuff, drop me a line and I'll basically get in contact with you about it. Thanks for watching this one, and I'm going to have to move these because the parrot's after them. Right. <laughs> You're an alky. Right. Thanks for watching, and I'll go back. Alcoholic beverage reviews. Take one. In the hole. At the moment, it's just me on my own, so it's like some sad weirdo talking about booze. And. Captain! Oh.